Hi folks, RSBN founder and CEO Joe Seals here. Did you know there is nearly $1 trillion of infrastructure and pandemic funds yet to be spent? That's right, there's a massive amount of money that the lame duck administration is pushing hard to spend in their last few months. If the president is able to push these funds out, we could see another prolonged inflation surge, just like during COVID. And I'm sure you remember the terrible effects that high prices had on most Americans, but there's hope. A surge in prices can be beaten. A gold IRA from Birch Gold Group is the ultimate inflation hedge for your savings in uncertain times. To see how to protect your IRA or 401k, get your free info kit on gold by texting the word TRUMP to 989898. Birch Gold makes it seamless to roll over your retirement account while preserving your tax advantage status. Don't wait for the president's spending spree to tank the dollar further. Protect your financial future now. Text TRUMP to the number 989898 for your free info kit from Birch Gold. I will end this Marxist crusade. I did it, you know, I did it. Five, six years ago, I did it. And the suburbs were safe. That's why when they say suburban women maybe don't like Trump, I think they're wrong. I think they love me. I do. I never had problems with women. I never had any problems. But they say suburban women. So they live in the suburbs, and I'm the one that says you can't build a low-income apartment house where people want to do harm when they move in, right next to your beautiful little house, right? And then I hear the women don't like me. The women want strong borders. They don't want to be hurt, molested, killed. They want their family to be safe. They want a strong military, so we're not going to be attacked by anybody. Peace through strength. So why wouldn't they like me? Those are the things that I stand for. They want good education. And I'm for choice. They also want choice. Choice is a big thing in education. To get even more relief to American workers, I will massively cut taxes for working families, and we will have no taxes on tips, no taxes on Social Security benefits. No taxes on tips. You remember a few months ago, I announced there will be no taxes on tips. A couple of weeks later, she goes, I'd like to announce that there will be no taxes. On well, why didn't they do this before? In the meantime, they are putting in legislation to make it impossible for these people to avoid paying taxes on the tips. So I don't know what they're going to do, but I think it was a little bit of a copycat, you know, a little bit of a copycat. And also, very importantly, no taxes on Social Security benefits for our seniors. That's a big deal. I don't know. Maybe that's even a bigger deal. But I have a big one coming up. So you have the privilege of being the first to hear this, because I'm also announcing, and you remember that, seniors, when you go to vote, you go to vote, because you know what? You've been eaten alive by the stupid inflation caused by energy and caused by their overspending, foolishly, their stupid spending, the Inflation Reduction Act, they call it. And then they said, well, it was a lie. It was really part of the Green News scam. Okay, remember that? They said it was a lie. It was a massive spending, trillions of dollars, and it caused inflation, but it also was helped, inflation, by their stupid energy policy. And just so you know, they're doing about what I was doing, but that was four years ago, five years ago. I would have had it quadrupled by now. They're doing the same thing as I was doing many years ago, but they had to. They were cutting it like crazy. They lost Anwar, the biggest site in the world that I got, Ronald Reagan couldn't get, nobody in, in Alaska. And they went out and they, it was terrible. Remember the first part where the, it was $5, 6 it was going through the roof? And he said, bring back the Trump plan. What did they do? So they got those rigs going again, and we had sort of similar numbers. But mine would have been four times, maybe five times higher by now. And what they have is they're just steaming along. And let me tell you, if they won the election right after the election, they're ending all fossil fuel. You're not going to have any. And you're going to find out what bad living is. Today, I'm also announcing that as part of our additional tax cuts, we will end all taxes on overtime. You know what that means? Think of that. Think of that.
think of them. That gives people more of an incentive to work. It gives the companies a lot. It's a lot easier to get the people. And, you know, I went to some economists, great ones, and I said, what do you think? They said, it would be unbelievable. You'll get a whole new workforce by doing that. No taxes on overtime. The people who work overtime are among the hardest working citizens in our country. And for too long, no one in Washington has been looking out for them. Those are the people. They really work. They're police officers, nurses, factory workers, construction workers, truck drivers, and machine operators. It's time for the working man and woman to finally catch a break, and that's what we're doing, because this is a good one. And I think it's going to be great for the country. So that's why we will be saying that if you're an overtime worker when you're past 40 hours a week, think of that. Your overtime hours will be tax-free. Okay? Good. You're going to have it, too. And unlike Biden, where he tells you that you don't have to pay your school tuition and uh, he gets rejected, then he goes again and again. It's been — now it's totally gone. Or as they say in politics, it's debunked. It's gone. Uh, that was terrible. You know, he kept saying to these students, no more loans, no more loans, which was very unfair to the millions of people that actually paid off their loans over the years. Some of them took 20 years to pay them off. But Hi, folks. RSBN founder and CEO Joe Steele's here. Did you know there is nearly $1 trillion of infrastructure and pandemic funds yet to be spent? That's right. There's a massive amount of money that the lame duck administration is pushing hard to spend in their last few months. If the president is able to push these funds out, we could see another prolonged inflation surge, just like during COVID. And I'm sure you remember the terrible effects that high prices had on most Americans. But there's hope. A surge in prices can be beaten. A gold IRA from Birch Gold Group is the ultimate inflation hedge for your savings in uncertain times. To see how to protect your IRA or 401k, get your free info kit on gold by texting the word TRUMP to 989898. Birch Gold makes it seamless to roll over your retirement account while preserving your tax advantage status. Don't wait for the president's spending spree to tank the dollar further. Protect your financial future now. Text TRUMP to the number 989898 for your free info kit from Birch Gold. But that's a dead deal. That's totally dead. You know, they tried to revive it two weeks ago. That didn't work out too well. That's a totally dead deal. But these will be three things that will get done. So if you think about it, no tax on tips, think of that. Think about this and the Social Security for our seniors. Because the seniors have been destroyed by inflation. It's unfair. And this is like a whole new life for them, because you're talking about a lot of money. So no tax on Social Securities for our great seniors. And this last one is no tax. You work your ass off. No tax on overtime. And that's so good for the employers. One of our economists said, I think that's actually going to bring money into our economy. You know, when I cut taxes, we had the largest tax cut in history. And when I cut taxes, with a much lower rate the following year, we took in more money than we ever took in with a much higher rate. People the jobs, people work, by a lot. But this is how we will end the era of inflation, mayhem, and misery under the Kamala and Crooked Joe regime, and unleash safety, prosperity, and peace for Americans of every race, religion, color, and creed. Together, we will deliver low taxes, low regulations, low energy costs, low interest rates, and low inflation so that everyone can afford groceries, a car, and a beautiful home. We will stop the invasion and end migrant crime, support our police, strengthen our military, build a missile defense shield over our country. Much of it will be made right here. Ronald Reagan wanted to do it many years ago, but we didn't — honestly, we, we're lucky we didn't because we didn't have the technology. Now we do. You see in Israel how it works, and we're going to have the biggest and the best. Do we make it? We're going to all make it, and a lot of it's going to be made in a place called Arizona. Is that okay? We will keep critical race theory and transgender insanity out of our school.
It's amazing. It's insane. You know, that always gets, like, the biggest applause. It's, it's like a poll. You're like a pollster. You're like a free poll, I must say. No, but you are. It, it always gets the biggest, because can you imagine your child goes to school, and they don't even call you, and they change the sex of your child? Think of it. And you know who the leader of that whole thing was? Kamala. Kamala. And another one that gets a big hand, and it's, it's crazy. We will keep men out of women sports. How simple. How simple. How simple is that? Did you see the Olympics recently? It was pretty good. But they had the prize fighters, the fighters. And they had the women's fighter. They now have women's boxing. That's a big step, but they have women's boxing. And yet this beautiful young woman from Italy, and she was fighting against a man who transitioned. And there were two of them that transitioned. There were two of them that transitioned. By the way, shockingly, both happened to win a gold medal, okay? The two transition men won. But the woman from Italy, she's up, and she's a good fighter. And she's up, and she wants to win, and she's going to show that we can take this man or the woman, this transitioned person, they say. I said, what do I say? They said, transitioned person. And I said, fine, I'm going to say that. But she's going to show them. And he goes, for those that don't, like, know much about the a left is just sort of a little defensive. Boom. She didn't know what happened. She pulls away. They thought, what happened? She's not. Then she gives it another try, and he goes, boom, with the left. Not the right. This is the one that really hurts, right? Boom. And she goes, I've never been. Then she quit. She walked off. That was the end. She didn't even go there. She just walked off. She said, I can't. I could never stay. I, I've never been hit like that. Then the other fighter, the same thing. So you had two transitioned people fighting. They both easily won gold medals. The greatest is the weightlifting, though. A record that stands for 18 years. And they put an eighth of an ounce here and an eighth of an ounce here on the big barbell. And they got women that are so strong. And this one was going to break the record, and she went up with that thing. She got it, and her parents are right there. And they're going, come on, darling. My wife hates when I do this. She says it's so unprecedented. 